What's up guys, Poke here from Cast Class, and yes, today is the day we make Alter Review, because you're already 600,000 might, nothing crazy, you know, some people already 1.1 million, but 606,304 is a big deal for the Poke, so the Poke is going to do Alter Review for you, and for those of you who are looking to see the talents, of course, uh, a lot of these talents are set and maybe change in the future so they're multi-purpose and some of them are still in testing mode because we haven't really tested for a long time and and what have you but anyways here 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 we go cosmo uh this one has been like this for a long time i had an empower nine to test for hbm didn't work out that well and ronin i like them both talents i like this anubis with the wicked armor for hbm I like this too. The survival didn't work out that well, as I hope. And this is definitely one of my favorite, the tenacity. And then the other one is for PvP, the unholy pack. And I've been using the revive more because it revives twice. And Lavonica, I'm using both one for PvP, one for Guild Wars offense. And what do we got here? We got, uh, oh yeah, Unholy Pack and Sacred Light. I haven't used Sacred Light for a while. I, I put Sacred Light there to see if he can actually tank HBM. AJ, it didn't really work out that well. We have Lazu. I used both. This one, we didn't even decide on the second talent. This one, still Flame Guard. This. And we got to move until to the part where we have the newer heroes. Then we have two talents again. Testing mode. I don't even know if it works or not. But we have a scatter and we have the brawler. This one is the other brawler. I, I have videos about this, by the way. And the revive nine was for Guild Wars. So we have a flame guard and a revitalize. We have that. We have this. When we tried out the other one, we haven't really have time. We have self-destruct lady leo don't do that guys that was just for fun and we have another one now and i'm about to consume that one for for a reason because uh it's the skill is three i know somebody's gonna put in the comment section why is the ronin skill three poke Shh. yeah these are heroes i don't use that much though i mean like golem i don't really use golem anymore maybe one day for guild wars and stuff but hey, what's up, Mino? I haven't seen you for a long time. I like Unholy Pack Trixie Treat. It just hits really hard. We have a Demo Gorgon with a variety of talents, defensive and offensive, right here. And Pumpkin Duke with two of the best talents, of course. And Regenerate apparently is a little bit better. And Valentina, I don't really use anymore, so we put that one for testing. And we have Medusa. Medusa, <laughs> it's been a while. Uh, this chick is still in my lineup for Lost Battlefield. Anubis, this is a defensive Anubis I haven't used. And I don't know who you are anymore. Now Grim Fiend is still one of my, was one of my favorite heroes. Skeletica I haven't used for a while either. This is the other Walla Walla, the other Walla Walla, the Triantar, the, the other Michael. I need to be testing this hero because Lars has a really strong uh, creation of one. And then the other the other two doves and this need to be tested as well oh i actually need to make this level nine real quick hey no no yeah that's that's my lost battlefield so i like that and then oh let's let's go back here oh there's a level five flame guard for you uh this one uh it's, it's all right i guess i like the Is that a second Mahatma? That's the only Mahatma I use? Rip. I've been using my... What did I use? Zerk. I think I used Zerk. Crest on it. But yeah, that those are my heroes. And I, I consider this... Right now is a transition time because... What I care most about is just making sure that I can do Guild Wars. And I can do Lost Battlefield, kind of like farm a little bit because I still like PvP. I like to see interaction with the game. 
So think of what you really like to do if it's HBM, if it's dungeons, and if it's uh, certain game modes, if it's farming lava and stuff. But think of also what is your priority. Like for me, I'm in the top five guilds, so I need to be doing guild wars. So while I'm leveling up my heroes without spending too much money, I can still do my guild wars with this setup. So it works great for me until I decide to spend and finally level up the rest of my heroes. So let me know in the comment section if you are facing the same situation or you're a big spender or you're a free to play that's just growing, looking for a way. I'll be making more videos about individual heroes, what I think is good for the beginner level. Like I said in many videos, in the end game heroes, I think a lot of people already know what they're doing, so I don't think they need my advice. But thank you so much for watching. As always, you guys are awesome. Oh yeah, that's right. If you guys are still here, now we talk about the semi end game stuff. Yes, the end game stuff is gonna be the breakthrough, twenty to thirty or something like that. But we're not gonna talk about that because that's just a stat boost and yeah, it's it's basically a stat boost, like a big boost, right? But we need to talk about this. I mean, I'll explain to you a little bit. A lot of these decisions are made because I wanted to play PvP more than PvE. So I've had, I had probably so many Malice, like, and then some random Force Ward. And that sentence for this is definitely strictly for PvP because he'll be sniping plus sniping uh, two more nearby targets. It's, it's just a test really. Definitely not for, for, a, for when there's troops and stuff. And some of them will have, will still have the what you call it victory lunge so it's either victory lunge malice is probably one of my favorite these days uh, the older stuff will have victory lunge and i, I change a couple of them for, for malice and i mean feel free to pause and, and if you know if you want to see the exact hero what what i put in there and when i put this stuff I keep in mind also why not everybody I'm gonna put straight up something it depends on the team and what I want usually like let's say somebody's utility maybe if he doesn't need healing or if he doesn't need the additional attack or deflect then I'll put malice if they could really benefit from the additional damage mostly because the flick is getting killed in the end game then i will put victory lunge that's kind of like the the thing with with my altar so but it goes to the end with traits a lot of important heroes i usually put accuracy because i do want them to hit the heroes and i can't do this the fast way i can't really scroll but like important heroes like her because she's gonna be doing a lot of damage i put plant just survivability lazulix i do put accuracy i don't really know until today if some heroes or all heroes i know sasquatch need to hit the target to freeze so that but not everybody needs to hit the target but important ones i'm gonna put accuracy for sure uh, Rowdy Rascal, I don't really use that much anymore anyway, so that's that's all right. Lavonica, for sure. I need it because Lavonica is not only for the utility. Lavonica, you need the accuracy because he hits, hits a lot of DPS. A lot of DPS that you need, you need to put some accuracy. I mean, for me at least. Like Dove Keeper, of course, right? And who else important? Like this, survivability for sure. Sasquatch accuracy very important because if you, you read his description, he needs to hit the target. This one eventually, if I do, I'm gonna replace somebody's attack with accuracy. If I do test him out because he been enjoying that that character yet. Yeah, like Athene, full accuracy is definitely needed for PvP because her proc is like what a third of a second each. Walla walla for sure. Skeletica, yes. Who else is important? I mean, Gunslinger, yes. Uh, maybe. Anubis, I I have this for... HBM. So, crit all over the place, so he does a ton of damage. 
then this is the accuracy Ronin I moved them back to dodge and I think that's it I mean this one important accuracy to hit the target Michael survivability that's right so you, you get you get where I'm going right mostly accuracy but for important heroes you need accuracy especially the ones that need to hit Dracax yeah I spent some gems on Dracax but anyways that's that golem a lot of these I haven't changed for a long time so maybe one day if we play around with this heroes again or not well, let me know in the comment section if uh, anything you see is crazy wrong or crazy right or crazy cool or super nice and uh, now it's for reals poke out